Hi everyone, welcome to October Empties. I don't have a lot, but they're big things, so I thought I had a lot in my box. They took up a lot of space, but it's not as much as I thought. So the first thing is my Revlon 04 and 81. I mix them, and that's just what I had on hand, and that's what I used. I hadn't colored my hair for probably close to three months, so especially at the back, it was getting a little too dark. So um, I try to color it less, but I was really happy when I colored it. It needed it. I'm surprised I'm going through shampoo before the conditioner. I have both of these, and they were fine. I'm quite surprised. I like my Suave, but this was really good. It was a substitution with my grocery pickup, Salon Selectives, and it was perfectly good. Uh, with all the flu season and everything starting, Monolaurin, we take it fairly regularly. I'm going into work more. Mark's always been going into work, but it's just really good. Coconut, it surrounds the bad bacteria, doesn't touch the good bacteria. We swear by it. It's amazing. And a lot of people have been sick around us, and we don't get sick. This O'Keefe's Working Hands, it's really nice, but I don't think that I would repurchase. There's a lot of other products. I keep this beside my bed and put it on at night, either on my hands and or my feet. But there's a lot of other products that I like better. This is very waxy, and it gets quite stiff. It does a good job, but there's other products that I like better. So for skincare, my Astral Cream. I love this stuff. It's great. It's sort of like Nivea. It has mineral oil, which I love, but it's not as heavy. It's a little lighter than Nivea. I'm not sure which one I will buy next, but I'm definitely using up a few other ones that I really enjoy as well. So we will see. This is the Ordinary Alpha Lipoic Acid. I really enjoyed it. It was nice, but it doesn't do a lot for me. I like a lot of the Ordinary products. If you have a concern that the Alpha Lipoic addresses, it's great. It's about the fact that I don't think it, I benefited from it as much because I didn't have any of the concerns for it. Two of the Dermatology Vitamin C plus E plus F. These are really nice, but I prefer to make my own. I love my own vitamin C. I bought the powder for my vitamin C, I think it was six years ago, and I barely put a dent in it. Absolutely love my own vitamin C. I can make it fairly thick, so this type of a dropper doesn't work because it can clog it up. But what I prefer is a pump on my vitamin C that I make, and I love that. I will use a dispenser like this, but it's not my preference. And then for, I consider these makeup items, Kirkland, I guess it's kind of a skincare, the Daily Facial Towelettes. I use this when I'm in a rush. I think I prefer baby wipes. You get your baby wipes wet, and they work great. I think I like them better. This can actually sting, and I don't have sensitive skin. So I don't think I'll be purchasing those again. They are really nice when you travel or when you're in a rush, just to be able to wipe everything off very quickly. And they do a good job with the thickness of them to get right into your pores. But like I said, I think I prefer baby wipes. These Kiss Everlasting French Nails, they're what I wear probably 90% of the time. I do sometimes do other ones, but I just prefer the French ones. And plus, with work, it's just easy. I can stick these on, and they last for two weeks. I went through quite a few different eyelashes. These ones, I'm sorry, I don't remember what they were. <laughs> these ones, <clears throat> let me show you. This one, it's used, so it has a bit of glue on it. But these were kind of feathery and wispy and multiple angles, which I like, as opposed to, sorry for the noise, these ones that are just straight. Do not care for those. These were given to me by a wonderful girlfriend that I love so much, but did not care for these. I like more of the crossed over, like this one. And it's stuck on there. I like the crisscrossy kind of patterns with all of the lashes overlapping. The straight ones are just 
too phony looking for me. And no matter which ones I wear, I always cut off quite a bit. I have learned they adhere and look better shorter. If you have to bring it in so it's not as far, that's better than making it way too long. And they also don't adhere near as well. And then here's another one. These ones go in all different directions, but they are just way too dramatic. Now you can cut these and just use pieces. You can trim them down. You can do all kinds of things. I just don't find it's worth it. I can get packs like this of lashes for just a couple dollars and I just can't be bothered messing with these. And these also have a very, very thick band, which is just too heavy for my eyes. I'm finding I like more natural, shorter, wispy ones like the ones that I have on today. And then finally, if you watch my Get Ready With Me, I did a makeup, use up, get ready with me. And I am letting go of this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark. I loved it, it served me well, but it's time to let it go. And that's exciting as well because it means it's something used up. I have one that I think is in fair to medium and that's gonna be the next one that I use up, but really happy that I've used this up. So that is everything for my October empties, just a quick little one. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope that you're enjoying using up your products and enjoying using what you have. We'll talk to you next time.